dummy. Here we go, man. You tuning in to the Dummies podcast. I'm stop. I'm Joe. And that motherfucking hooty there. And uh, we back like we never left, because like we say every week, we never leave. This is special episode two. Uh, what it is? Saturday, what's the date? 13th? Yeah, July 13th. Uh, we got a guest in the building with us. Uh, Ken XL. Yo, 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 what it do? What it what do? What it do? What it do? Good, For man. those who don't know, man, Ken XL is probably the biggest video Photographer in the game in the state of Alabama. Oh, man. I cut the shit. It, cut the <laughs> shit. Why? I mean, who? Sh- why? Shit, who, who, who? Hey, who I'm trying to play the humble role in the, you know, right now. You playing it? Or we real? don't do humble, right? You playing it or it's real? We just do what it is. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, what it is. Yeah, we gonna, the gonna biggest call, nigga in the, in the video. Hey, shit. that's what we gonna call it. What it is? That's, that's I mean, what it is. and I mean, I say that honestly. I say that honestly because let me tell you something. I, I've been doing my homework. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give y'all an example of why I say this. Uh, in one week, I've seen you post six different videos. Uh. That you promoted or and or were shooting in one week. That's a lot. Six man. different ones. Shit. And not only in, in them six ones, like shit. You go back over the, the course of months. I you don't see no too many people working the way this man worked. Mm-hmm. Um. And so this is one of the reasons that we want to bring you on this platform and have you here, uh, to talk about you know what it is you do, your background, all of that stuff. It was important that we brought you on. And so yes, that's why I say one of the biggest ones in the state of Alabama. Own show, it. man, for sure, <laughs> for sure. So now How you gotta, you own, you gotta own it. Hey, man, you shit, I, I'm feeling relaxed, man. I'm, I'm ready to go. You feel me? Like I'm ready to shoot a video right now. Goddamn, <laughs> you just got me hyped with that intro. <laughs> shit, with a camera at? Who rap? Let's get this shit going. <laughs> the camera, shit, on, go ahead. Get, talk, tell them about the chickens. Man. What you mean? Tell them about the chickens. He ain't want to bring up the chickens. Yeah, this bring episode. up the chickens. Nah, man, yeah, this ain't about me. What you just told? It ain't about me. Can tell us about you, man? Like. Um, Who are you, man? Where you from? How you how you got your your start in videos? Where you from? Give us all that. We all kind of know you in different paths and stuff. Yeah, from the avid listener. Mm-hmm. Who is Ken? Uh, Ken is shit. I'm a UAB graduate uh, from Mobile, Alabama. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So shit. Other Two five that, one. Hey, just like the streets call me shit. I'm a video nigga. Video you feel nigga. Me? But other than that, you know, I feel like. Um, I, what do, what do I start with this shit, man? Um, what made you want to get into shooting video? The video, nigga. <laughs> shit. Um, I used to do management and shit. Like, uh, mm-hmm. I had a rapper I was managing back in the day. Um, and shit, once we got like a record deal and shit like that, and we got the advance, like my percentage was like fifteen percent, and I was like, oh shit. So I had went hard as fuck, and then mm-hmm. somebody from the label came to me and was like. Why don't you just shoot this nigga day to day and you can make more money, you feel me? And right. I was just like... Damn. You remember who he was? Who was that? Uh, Fred P. Fred P. Okay. Shout out Fred okay. P. Okay. Name Fred P. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So we had a little situation with like Universal, EMI, and D4L. Sure. And so, matter of fact, it was Shorty Lowe. It was like, why don't you pick up that camera, you feel me? You can make some more money. Mm-hmm. You with this nigga all the time, you know what I'm saying? We need content on him every day. So it was something off the whim. Yeah, it was just yeah. something off the whim. Gotcha. gotcha. You know, and as, as I just started doing the shit, niggas started hitting me with the how much you charge for that? And I'm like, whoa. Right. Get you know, I could get paid doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've always been like a visionary, though. I've always been somebody that could could make something bigger than what mm-hmm. it was, and I could see past what something is. Like, So if, you, if you're if an athlete or anything, I probably could see you in the NFL before you could see me. Right, right, right. I just no, know how to kind of put the camera I mean, when you shit, think about you know? it, to shoot videos like that, you kind of have to have some sort of a vision to be able to, mm-hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, shoot so many and then kind of give somebody their own different mm-hmm. canvas. Give them exactly. their own appeal for their videos. Speaking of their own canvas, I, I was watching one of your videos today. Uh, it was like a little interview. And you was like, you like gorilla, you was doing a gorilla style video. Right. And meaning it's just chaos, basically. Just chaos. So I was going to ask, do you think it's, what's best for you? Gorilla or a scripted? Of course, scripted is going to be better because mm-hmm. it's more organized. Right. And essentially, that's what people want when they spending their money, you feel me? But mm-hmm. the fun shit is the gorilla style shit. You know what Sweet. I'm saying? That's just like anything that gives me that back in the... Because I'm from the hood, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Pritchard, you feel right. me? So anything that give me that feeling like I'm back home in the hood playing fucking football, that shit is what I like. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when I'm shooting hood videos and shit and gorilla style videos, it give me that sense of... You know, I got to pick him. Okay, no, I want him. You know what I'm saying? Okay, mm-hmm. let's run a play. You know what I'm saying? You do a slant. You do a out. You feel right. me? Like that That adrenaline dry, rush. Dry that shit in the dirt. The spot. You, so, you so, see, so, being, so being from Pritchett, you know when stuff about to, you know what I'm saying, happen or whatever, 
Is there any time that you're shooting a video where you're like, all right, let me hurry up, shoot this video, and get the fuck up out of here? <laughs> all the time, nigga. All the time. Like, I ain't nigga. trying to second <laughs> shoot. Let all me, the time. Let me get these shots and get uh, the hell out of here. All the time. You know what? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, all the time, like, because I know this shit, like, being from the hood, I'm a little older, so I can see shit from a mile away. Like, mm -hmm. I can see, like, one of the videos I was just shooting, it was an older cat out there, and he was kind of jealous of the young cat, and he was walking around going, I want a video shit. I've been rapping for years. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want you, a kid in that you, cell. When you, say, old, when, you say, that shit. when you say older cat, what... What age is this older This cat? nigga was probably like 32, 33 type shit. And Damn. the dude I was shooting was like 17. Right. And he was just walking mean. around basically moping and shit. You feel me? So old I was nigga like, moping. damn, this nigga finna be a problem. <laughs> so I just started like just rounding niggas up, just shooting shots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to get them out of there. Hell yeah, just mm -hmm. get them out of there. Where Man. were you? Uh, I think it was Inglenook. Where that's at? Like Tarrant City, gotcha, Birmingham. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Nigga. Hell, man. I don't know where um, that shit <laughs> I want to ask you, man. Like, I be you. You see some of those videos, man. And um, I seen a few videos where, like, you know, they got the guns out and stuff like that. Yeah. But you the one in front of the camera, <laughs> mm -hmm. and the gun got the point the <laughs> camera. So I'm kind of like, even you though know, do you trust these? Yeah. Even if it's not a bullet in there, how you deal? Do with you it? check first? I mean, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I check. Do I you check. still? Do you, do you okay. still be jumping either way? No. Uh, <laughs> actually, I use a rig, so I'm not. Directly in front yeah, of Yeah, yeah, I know you be moving now. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. moving. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving around like a motherfucker out there. Mm -hmm. But also, the camera is not completely in front of the... I mean, I'm not in front of the, the gun. The camera gotcha. is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, when I have a nigga pointing at the camera, he pointing at the camera. He ain't pointing at me. Gotcha. And then, you know, <laughs> I try to be as hands-on with that shit as possible. Like, it ain't one in the head, is it? And you got them some niggas that I done caught lying like, no, no, no. And then I grab him and I'm like... Damn, bro, you finna put my life on the line just to get a shot? Yeah, just so, to So but, any shots go off at any of those videos? No. No. Yeah. No. Now, I will tell you a funny story. Just real randomly, quick. anytime, whatever. Whether you kinda, yeah, yeah. Or any. Like, you kind of do have to tell us a funny story. That's the whole <laughs> issue. Hey, I'm going to tell us. you a story, bro. Like, when I was out in Hollywood and shit, you know how they, how they, how they talk about that Illuminati shit and, like, mm -hmm. uh, really, it's like making a sacrifice or doing some shit to blow up. Right. This dude gave me an idea to like blow the fuck up, but I ain't go with the shit. You feel me? He was like, you too, bro, you gonna have to you have a shoot. sacrifice? You said what now? You was gonna have to have a sacrifice? I'm gonna tell you how this shit was gonna work, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> this nigga told me, because in Hollywood, you could do that one thing to kind of just blow up. Right. But mm -hmm. people tend to forget about it over the years once you become who you are. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, this dude gave me a suggestion. He was like, bro, I've been looking at all your videos. You got hundreds of videos, niggas pointing guns. He was like, why don't you stage a fucking shooting, bro? Like, like you actually get shot at that motherfucker and, like, go to the hospital, all this shit like that. And then he was like, nigga, I'll be your press agent and we'll just talk about, like, you can write a fucking book about, so you, like, being in front of the that's gun Hollywood. and so you get could, shot. So you you could be, like, the first person to ever get shot shooting a fucking video. And I was so you, like, so you, I thought about that shit, though. So you could, <laughs> fake, you could fake go to the hospital hospital for a fake bullet wound? No, he want him to really get shot. No, 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 no. He didn't want me to get shot. Right, he so that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh. Shoot a blank. He was going to be like, what oh. the... Uh, and then, you know, because we ain't really got to show it, you know. It was a movie shot. Kid, 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 it was going to be like that movie uh, with Tupac. Uh, when the Tupac and... Uh, in, the, in the white boy. In the white boy. I forgot the white boy. It was a damn bulletproof. Grillock. Grillock, yeah. Stab me, guys. He was like, you could be the face of that shit, like other Hood videos, <laughs> yeah. and you took the bullet and shit, and you've been shooting for years, and it happened. So Hollywood, truly Hollywood. Huh? Hollywood is Hollywood, bro. <laughs> that's why I don't. That's why I'm not out that motherfucker no more. Hollywood is. So how long were y'all there? Almost a year. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Almost a year. Would you go back? Would I go back? Yeah, to fuck around. Yeah. I wouldn't go back to like live. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know yeah, what yeah. I'd go back to fuck around or to do business. That's it. That was so. That's it. All the different artists. I know, I know you said that you manage. So once you got involved in the videos, that just kind of put an end to doing the management. It was kind of like you really saw how you was making more money doing it, and it just was like, I don't need to do that no more. Let me cut it. Let me cut it straight and dry. To be honest, like, a lot of people fuck with the artists I managed, managed over the years off the strength of my personality and who I was. Right. They ain't give a fuck about what them niggas sound like. Bro. Right. So it's like, shit... When when I when I had something that I could represent for me, which was a talent with the video shit, because I had eventually got good, mm -hmm. shit, they was fucking with me. You yeah. know, people are already like me anyway. Right. They ain't give a fuck by who I was managing. They like, I don't fuck what Ken got going on. Right. So when the camera shit was popping, 
Niggas just was fucking with me because they know I'm from the hood. I'm down to earth. I'm going to tell you what it is. I ain't going to try to oversell you on some shit. You feel me? I'm going to give you exactly what you're looking for. And I'm going to go extra hard with that shit, too. Right. So, yeah, it, it just started, people just started fucking with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? That shit just started going crazy. So I got a quick. I was uh was in a barbershop that was last week, I want to say, last yeah. week. And I was there hustling. You know what I'm saying? I was there hustling. Okay. And I heard <laughs> you say you had a, a mixtape coming out, the uh, Trap Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry of the Man, what trap. the fuck? Hell yeah, Tyler Perry of the Trap. Bro. Tyler Perry of the Trap. So, so w- w- why Tyler Perry of the Trap? You know what I'm saying? Okay. What all artists is on this, on this mixtape? Let me tell you what, what I had to do. Um, Tyler Perry of the Trap is, is basically everybody I was shooting music videos for. This first, this volume one is. Right. Mm-hmm. The reason I, I called it Tyler Perry of the Trap because I lost my mama back in 2016 to cancer, Damn. and she man. was like, I ain't mean to go sentimental on nah, y'all. Get, get what you get, man. Get what you get, man. And she used to always, like, you know, the TV was fucked up in the in the room she was in, so they had a DVD player, and she ain't used to do nothing but watch Tyler Perry movies, like, all fucking day. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And she used to be telling me, you remind me of Tyler Perry. She used to call me Tyler Perry. You know, sometimes when they going through that shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Right. She used to call me that shit, you feel right. me? And I'm like, damn, this shit means something. So, you know, I was just thinking one day, and I was like, what the fuck? It just hit me. I was like, I'm always in a trap. I'm telling stories from the trap. It's niggas watching my shit everywhere. I'm fucking Tyler Perry of the trap. Right. And that's you know crazy. What I'm saying? So and that, I'm like, and that, that's crazy because Tyler Perry got the whole Tyler Perry idea from his mom. I ain't know that shit. See, yeah, look like, at that so Basically, him wearing that, that dress and telling those stories yeah. with him reflecting off with Hey, yo, I'm wearing a dress on the next cover, by the way, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what I was going to ask you. I'm going to laugh at you. The first thing I was going to say, because I was, I was going to try to make a joke You got the hair for it. But, like, you went... You got the Like, Like, you went deep with it. So I was like, damn, I can't really joke. Get the jokes off. Man, joke, bro. No, because, like, you went serious. So I was like, damn, I can't really get... But I was going to ask you, like... You gonna put your dress on? I'm wearing the dress on volume two. I'm gonna go ahead and put volume two out there right now. Volume two is the diary of a mad black film director. Nigga gonna be there. <laughs> oh, gonna be, be on the front of that bitch with the dress. Dress in like the background is gonna be a nigga uh, laying in the tub, and I'm gonna be beating his ass with the camera. And then on the other side, I'm gonna be pushing the nigga in the wheelchair. That nigga got the whole idea ready. It's already, already in the works. My graphics but got you, already on it. But nigga, you know what's so nigga crazy? Be dressed like grandma, mom. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna be on the cover of that bitch's material. What, uh, what that movie was? Big Mama. Big Mama. Grandma. Grandma. Mama. What that was? Was that was that uh, Steve Urkel? Them. Grandma. Mama? Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson. That was Larry Johnson. But you know what? That that's the thing that I I like. What we were saying with with people who uh, have vision and do what they do, like. When they the, talk about it, you future. can see the shit. Yeah, you can tell. Like, like you can. Like when they got the next mixtape coming out, the and the first fold. one, and the first one still yet. ain't even. out. I got the next yeah. fucking you fold, see? bro. Yeah, like, I, I already get. got the ideas for like one through four already, bro. So some of the artists, tell us about some of the artists that you worked with. Um, well, let's let's get back to Tyler Perry. Okay, so basically, it's gonna be the major artists that's on there, like right? Robbie oh, yeah, and yeah, Amir yeah. gonna be on there. Mm-hmm. Um, T. L. E. Cinco gonna be on there. Mm-hmm. Honey Tech. The he black, the dude with the 205 the, flow song. I don't know if y'all yeah, heard Yeah, I've heard it. The Black Tina chick gonna be on there? The who? Black Tina. Oh, is that how you say her name? Black Tina. She, she, not, she not from here. It's from Alabama. No, nah, it ain't from just Alabama. Oh, okay, it's okay. It's niggas cool. I fuck with. I don't give a gotcha. fuck you right. from Alaska, nigga. All right. Yeah. <laughs> she, you part of my trap. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You came through the trap. Mm-hmm. And holler at Tyler Perry of the trap. So I gotcha. gotta put you on that shit. Gotcha. But so you gotta put her on it, right? Not the first one. What? Okay. Not the first one. I just couldn't find a feel for it, like. Uh, instrumentally, like mm-hmm. when it come down to the sound and the flow of it, right? I was gonna put no gotcha, rap gotcha, cap gotcha, on gotcha. that, but it just didn't match the rest of the shit. And I, I asked, but man, blowing up in Mobile, the? Uh, the the no rap cap, the no, no cap, no, 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 no cap, no, no cap, no, 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 no. This is a song called No Rap. She cap. got a song. Oh, okay. called, yeah. This is about a uh, Mexican girl. I had Latina. Right. Video. So, okay. Okay. so okay. I asked, okay. I asked that about her specifically because I, I was looking through the YouTube videos and I saw she had like four point five mil. And the other ones that have that, I don't know if that's your most viewed one, but that's why I asked you why not her. Um, no, nah, that's not my most viewed. My most viewed is uh the race video with Namir. That shit got yeah. twenty three million. Yeah, is that on on your YouTube or no? It's on World Star YouTube. Gotcha. I, I tried, wish that I tried to search it for on World Star. I couldn't find that. <laughs> I bitch. wish it was. Yeah. Oh, it ain't on World Star. No well, not under your name. I'll say it. not under your name. Okay, okay, yeah, nah. Uh, they got me in the credits and shit, but it's mm-hmm. on their YouTube. Gotcha. gotcha. That's twenty three million. That's why you came with the shirt on and shit. Yeah, the world star. Yeah, oh, the and, world star and that's why I went I there. With world that's why I went there specifically in okay, search for it. Okay. God, bro, I fuck with world star because they fuck like, with me, bro. Because yeah. I was like, I ain't never seen a nigga wear a world star shirt. But I fuck with world star, bro. Okay. Like any any time I could plug them or mm-hmm. wear some shit with them, bro. I fuck mm-hmm. with them boys. Yeah. Why? 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 Because they believe in a nigga. Like mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you a story. You feel me? Like when Namir got on and shit, and we was out in L. A. 
of course, you know, he had a guy with the industry shit, so them niggas ain't really feel like they want a nigga around for real, you feel me? So the last video I shot with him, I kind of feel like it was no hook. That shit got like 22 million or something like that on his channel. So that shit was supposed to be on Worldstar, you feel me? But mm -hmm. some shit happened or whatever where somebody wanted to try to put some input in on the editing, and I feel like they tried to like not put my shit on Worldstar, you feel me? So right. they tried so, to edit your shit. Well, it basically did. You is that me? is that the norm where other people come out and edit like your Put shit? It like this with this industry shit, it's mm -hmm. always some tricky shit going on where a nigga trying to get your shit stopped. Right, gotcha, gotcha. and we we me? we talk about that uh, a lot. We just had a store. We was we was talking about how um, I don't know if you saw Spinderella from Salt and Pepper was suing yeah, them yeah, all right. this many years later over mm -hmm. that. We talk about Wayne situation. It's just so crazy in music how like it be so many smoke and mirrors and money be changing hands and back, be back end shit. deals and stuff. I kind of feel like them niggas ain't want my shit on World Star. Not no disrespect to James yeah. and none of his folks. You got a reason why you think I just that feel though? Like, because. I'm a I'm from Alabama, like they in California. Like yeah, his manager yeah. is a video director, okay. fam. So it's like they feel like, oh, that's just some little shit. Mm -hmm. Even the way they wrote the article in Double XL about me, it was like uh, the video was directed by Ken XL, who worked heavily with Namir in the past. It's funny that you say yeah. that because when Darius, uh, when Darius, uh, he say a lot of time when he dealing with music stuff, he said when they find out you from Alabama, it's all like it's always like a. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, we can Like, they got to downplay it because you from Alabama. That you know ain't what I mean? shit. Yeah, they really feel like that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Coming from Alabama, like, they could easily replace you. You know what I'm saying? You just a, you just a, a, a startup nigga. You know what I'm saying? This was your startup cameraman, so it's kind of like uh, we could do much better. But what really shocked them is, like, they didn't feel like that video was going to do shit, in my opinion. And when they looked up, that motherfucker was doing $5 million in three days, $10 million in two weeks. So it was kind of like, y'all should have put this shit on Worldstar, but in, in, at the end of the day, it still helped Namir out. It still helped me out. You feel so me? But I just feel like they kind of downplayed they it. They downplayed because it. Of, you so know. What's, some, what's some advice you can give to the artists or to the videographers or to the photo takers of Alabama in order to bypass all that shit? Don't clout chase. Like, don't, don't just because somebody big or whatever, fuck them. Just keep working your same circle, your same niggas. That, that you came up with. You know what I'm saying? Make them the stars. Give, give everybody the same energy, bro. Like, don't, just because you shooting a money bag, your video, don't get his shit done before the nigga that you shot that stay on your grandmama street. You feel yeah. me? Give it all, everybody stars. Treat it all the same. I, and I think that's dope that you say that because, uh, I mean, everybody know, you know, I used to do music and then just doing this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you see so much in business that, like, you catch people, they'll, they'll treat the person, you know, who not even paying them, by the way. Right, Who right. not paying them, but they got a bigger name. Mm -hmm. They'll get their shit done tomorrow. That shit crazy. But, but when it comes to somebody else who probably didn't even put, like, a little bit of money down for them, they treat them like, oh, I get that shit done. And four, five weeks later, the shit still ain't done. Yeah. Right. So that's dope. I that's mean, I've been that guy, though. I've been that guy. I've clout chased before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been that guy, so I can speak from, from both ends. I can say that I'm not there right now, but I've been there, like... You know what I'm saying? I've put the 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 superstars before, like the locals, but yes, yes. but my intentions was always good help, though. Did that help you though? It did, and it helped the locals. You know what I'm saying? Like it actually at the time I I've always came from a a, a real place, right. whatever I do. So if I'm putting him before you, I'm bringing more attention to the situation before your video even come out. Right? You, you know that's a hard that's a hard response for the simple fact you're telling them don't cloud chase, but then you're telling them it works. No, it worked so for me. when they clout chase? Yeah. It's no, hard. I'm saying... This is, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying don't clout chase. Like, don't run up behind a nigga over somebody else you know. You know what I'm saying? Treat them all the same. Mm -hmm. But in, in the same instance, like, if you do get an opportunity and you shoot somebody big shit and it's going on your channel, it's mm -hmm. going to help the local. Yeah. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? To go on, do that shit. Yeah, but, because it brings... I, I'm assuming because it's going to bring more traffic and attention. Right, to your page. right. So but, right. But, but that's also, like... Uh, Bill Gates saying, "Don't make Microsoft, but I made Microsoft, and I'm a billionaire." Well, I, 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 can, I, can, I can I can see <laughs> yeah. I can see what he said. I can see he saying, "Don't." I was I was asking that just to fuck with him, but I can see what he's saying. Like, give it your all, no matter which one it is. Right. So if you're going to do the big person, just give them that all. They have their shit out the next day. Do that same shit for the local. And, so I get it. And even what he said to me is still different because. He he's saying that he's giving his he attention. It. From what I'm understanding, he's giving even when he did it, he gave his attention to the bigger person, but he was mm -hmm. still thinking about the little person. Right, right. What I was saying 
that was live about it is you see sometimes people when the bigger person come or say fuck the little person mm-hmm. altogether. Nah, I was that, never, I was right. never that. And that's what, what I'm saying. That's why, yeah, that's know. why I'm saying. <laughs> we know. Shouts yeah. out to you for not doing yeah, that yeah. because a lot of people will do that. Just like we was talking earlier, people forget sometimes um, how they got to where they got to. Right. So let's just say somebody approach you. You see a younger you coming in trying to, t- trying to you know, get into the music industry. He want to shoot videos too. He probably potentially can come in and get some of your clientele or some of your market. Do you help him? Yeah. I absolutely help him. I didn't used to now because I'm real about it. I'm why real the, about why, it. Why, 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 why? Because I'm, I was a crab in a bucket, nigga, bro. I'm from Alabama. That shit in yeah. me. And like, and that's I, real to I just had a realization about this shit a couple of... No, nah, it's been over... It's, it's been probably like over a month now. Mm-hmm. God actually showed me that, nigga, you're selfish, you're jealous, you're a crab in the bucket, nigga, and until you change that shit, you're not going to be shit. And when I change that shit, shit start going crazy. You mind but, sharing how he showed you that? You don't have to. He doesn't want to. But no, but no. That, uh, again, let, that's, that's a great point, though. Like, mm-hmm. no one see what he's saying. Like, he being honest. Like, mm-hmm. shit. At one point, no, I'm not helping you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get me. It's a, it's trying a, trying a scare. Me. It's called. It's really called a scarce mentality. Right. It's like it's not enough. It's not it's enough. It's not enough. enough. It's not enough but how you get you? I but you. I, I actually came to the realization that I'm in a leadership position, so there is enough. You can't do but that. But you know no what? Right. When I, my my whole thing with that is like when you're talented and you're good at what it is that you do. Uh, and, and you're actually sure. doing what you're supposed to do. I don't care how many people you right. help. You're gonna always be in position to do what you do because right. th- that's why they coming to you. That you ain't see? faith either, bro. Right. Like if you if you like, I can't let him know shit, or mm-hmm. I can't share my secrets, or I can't tell him what kind of lens I use, or right. none of this shit. That's that's not faith. Right. That's like that's basically slapping God in the face. That's like going. That's like saying. I don't believe you're gonna give me more, so I gotta hold on to, to what I got. And that's, I got. And that's that's that's, that's how, true. That's, that's how I always looked point. at it too. Very I, good I was point. like, if you have something, why not share it? Because even if you share it with that person, do they still have the same gift that you have? No. And and no. And, and I will tell you, because like <laughs> tell me, because <I> <laughs> he, he, he go he about tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't the funniest niggas in the world. Tell oh, me boy. again. But but I can't tell you how to be funny. Like. True. Cause you, you know can't tell yourself. Like, yeah. like, like, you can't tell <laughs> exactly. me how to shoot, a, how to shoot a good video. Mm-hmm. Like, you can say, "Oh, no, Man. I'm still not can, gonna be able to go out there and do it." But listen. you can tell me what kind of lens you use, what kind of camera you use, right, what right. Kind but of you still uh, can't be me. You, use. you can't listen because you're not gonna do it the way I'm gonna do it. We have to go through this every week. My nigga think he is uh, Eddie Murphy. You think he funny so Mixed far? in with uh, <laughs> Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. <laughs> a little Fred G. <laughs> Sam Foot. Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. Martin. Yeah. We learn oh, he we learn so we learn we learn he at his best when he write his jokes. Hey man, my man's just working his mojo. You feel me? <laughs> you gotta work his mojo. He got a lot of mojo. Yeah, so yeah. what? I mean, Tyler Perry or the trap? We know that's coming. Um, what else you got in the pocket, man? I know you got some more stuff tucked in, or, or is it just trying to get this those shit? Ideas? Just bro, I'm telling you, just bro. Let, let's let's, let's news, go back. I'm gonna go back to news. I'm gonna go back to. Me finding out that I was a hater. I, I just, I don't want to. <laughs> bro, like, seriously, bro. Like, like no, who, who, who you was hating? <laughs> Everybody, bro. <laughs> Why, it was because, bro? like, I had a partner in this music shit. You feel me? And he used to kind of, like, put that shit in my head, like, no, bro, don't shut them nigga shit. Or, no, don't do this, no, this. So that shit kind of rubbed off on me. You feel right. me? That's how I had, that's why I ain't want to discuss it. You know, I won't say no names, but mm-hmm. I had a partner and he used to always be on that shit, like, no, we can't fuck with them. They over there. Or, no, we can't do this. Or, damn, he went and shot this with such and such. And I used to take that on. Mm-hmm. And then God showed me, I, like, I'm like, oh, damn, I'm hating on niggas. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I sub- and when I when I change my attitude, like, if I seen that you shot a video with somebody else and I said that was dope, mm-hmm. they fuck with me even more. They fuck with me even harder. Yeah. They like, wow, Ken still believe in me. But if, you, I, say, if you say it's trash, they going to distance themselves. Yeah, because like, like I yeah, said. Yeah, they going to distance themselves. And it also, it shows that it, it's also part of like, to me, it's kind of, because I had so much power, I didn't realize the power that I had. So mm-hmm. I had it to the point to where if you ain't shoot with Ken, mm-hmm. like, you fucked up. Like, right. people used to feel like, oh, if I, if I go somewhere else, I'm fucked. Nigga, that's abusive. Mm-hmm. 
God showed me like, nigga, you are you you're abusive with this shit. You're abusing your gift. You're not letting motherfuckers explore other people, bro. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking controlling ass nigga. Yeah. And I had that shit on me, and it was stopping me from growing. Right. So now, you know, I applaud anybody that's trying to do this shit. Right. I own this nigga shit. I feel like art is art. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you don't put that much into your art, that's you. Right. Now you gonna know what you miss when you don't. Come to me and you go to somebody else. You're going to miss the experience. You're going to miss me hanging out a car, shooting the other car, and all this acrobatic shit to make your shit fire. Yeah. You're going to miss that. And you're going to eventually be like, oh, shit, I'm just going to fuck with Ken anyway. Right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know, but I want to, now that I know that I'm the leader, it's fine. You, like, you're a big bragger, nigga. Like, <laughs> that wasn't no humble shit. Hell, that nigga was look, look, remember how he, humble first? Remember man, how he yeah, started? Yeah, yeah. I told you I had to start off with the humble, humble, humble shit. I was like, I was like, hey man, you know, you we got the biggest. You see what you just started? Biggest video you person see, in the game. You just started. I mean, man. Oh, no. who, who, who me? Who me? Not I. I think it's just my chacho shit or something. For this shit, it might be this my chacho shit or something. I don't know. I'm I'm down to the last bit of it. But hey, shit kind of kicking in. I'm gonna throw you an alley. I'm gonna throw you an alley. Oh. You came to UAB, like, we know you from UAB, from mm -hmm. the crib. You came to UAB. When I first met you, you was like, I oh, mean, you from Mobile? Bet you was already, you know, doing your thing. And you was like, bet. You got me in the club. Mm -hmm. Like, show love. Mm -hmm. What made you, like, I'm going to show love to everybody from my city? Mm -hmm. That's because I know we don't come from, we come from shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I know we the live niggas. Like, if you from Mobile, I know the more Mobile niggas we got in the club, the live the party you're going to be. Yeah. You feel me? So if I can... I threw you the alley. So. <laughs> but, hey, but I throw, you, I throw you another one. Uh, I don't think it's just from the niggas from the city. Do you remember the first time you met me? I'm 100% sure you don't. I don't remember the first time, but I remember the first... What was situations it? we was around? I mean, when you was when you was playing ball at UAB, right? Nah, nah man, it was me, you, Walt, and JD. We were okay. riding your little stick shift when we stayed in Blunt Hall. I don't know if you. Oh in yeah, Hall. nigga, I remember yeah. that nigga <laughs> in the white Ultima yeah, shit. Yeah, got this nigga the first. This nigga was driving a stick, and we went on the top of a hill somewhere. That was my first time smoking. God damn. That was your first time smoking. Your fault, goddamn. It's not, and it's ironic that you don't smoke no more. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, look, bro. set your ass up, it's and then ran out. Don't smoke no more, goddamn. That's a crazy combination. Cause I bet you don't talk to nothing. <laughs> Walt and JD, I don't. Yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, bro. Yeah, yeah. I told you, like, I was abusing, like, my powers for bad in oh, all kind of ways. Like, well, 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 well. Then I was, I was they big homie, so, like, they was listening to any fucking thing I was saying. I'm like, he'll smoke this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and this nigga was literally like a quarterback or some shit, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm glad you said that. Are you still the quarterback? You said on that video, too, you was the quarterback of the streets. Which in my hood, yeah, like, so did you play ball in high school? Like, I played ball. Hood? I wasn't really shit though. I mean, I'm talking about like, <laughs> I'm literally talking about like in the fucking neighborhood, like <laughs> picking about, teams. Right. I used to quarterback for both teams. You still like, gotta be something for that in the hood though. I mean, I could run fast and throw and shit, but when it came down to like organized high school football, gotcha, gotcha. I was a fucking lousy ass nigga, bro. Like, I wasn't like <laughs> taking that shit as serious as I could. I gotcha. Like, my hood was very disappointed in me when it came down to the fucking games, bro. Like. They're like, why this nigga Ken ain't out there doing his fucking thing, bro? <laughs> hey, so you let him down up there. Can when you, it came to the real shit, you know what what the man? same shit he did on the block. And, and right, preacher, right, right, right. From Whistler, right? Yeah. Wait, Prince right. of Whistler. Right, right. No, 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 no. I know it's the same, right, right. no, 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 no. same it's thing. I hate people to say I'm from Whistler. No, 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 no. No, no hell no. no. You don't no. hate niggas to say they're from Whistler. It's just we're a small part of Prince. Right, and that's what I'm saying. It's still Pritchard, but we that's have a presence, section guys. of Pritchard, mother. Like, nigga, you. You from Mobile, but you from a certain place in Mobile. Right. Pritchard got right. certain places, nigga. Shit, that's why I'm asking. You it's got the village, Pritchard. you got... Facts, facts. <laughs> facts. facts. Still no, Pritchard. It's not. It's I do not. like that gas station right there at the stop of Pritchard. But that's some local shit. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that crawfish. But, uh... My nigga. Not what the... Oh, go ahead. I ain't got shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> man, we wanted to ask a question, man. We had figured out some shit here on this podcast, man. You single? Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. know? Do you know what um chicks be doing when they go on errands? What's an errand? What's an errand? You know, how, like you, you ever ask the chick like, man, where you going? She be like, oh, I gotta run some errands. Do you know where they be going? I ain't never thought about that shit. So when, you should. So, you so, should. When the, so when a chick tell you she finna go on some errands, like you, you know, think you about your relationship. Your girl probably was cheating on you because you don't know <laughs> what you're going for errands, my nigga. 
Think about it. Think about it. Because I need receipts. <laughs> Damn, bro. I really haven't thought about he, he that shit. No I'm like, oh, okay. Hey, she out my way for a hey, while. Hey, he think about all the times she went this on the air and came back for five three days hours. later. Aaron's <laughs> happy as hell I'm thinking not going to pay some shit or to go buy some drawers or some women products or some shit. For five hours. Some shit though. I don't want to know about, basically. For six hours. In Mobile. <laughs> We oh, in Mo- oh, you stores. talking about in Mobile? Anywhere, guys. Just anywhere. 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 Oh, ain't no bitch running an errand on me in Mobile. <laughs> I thought you was talking about up here or something. Anywhere. I'm guys. like, who you going to see? <laughs> shit, well, ain't shit to do. Uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> My man yeah. limited that shit to a, a, a section, uh-huh. a city. In this city, you got to go get draws. What's the over um, here? <laughs> you got to get them your hair no, done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we had did an episode, man. We had we had told women we figured out that they don't be doing a goddamn thing on them errands. Yeah, no, they just they be making that shit up. Um, fuck. We need some advice, man. So it's oh, more or less. I'm get, I'm trying to get away from your ass for a while. We don't know. Basically. We have no clue what they're trying to do. Basically. That's what we want to figure no, out. No, cause look, think about it. If if you ask a, a dude, man, when you like, if, I'm going as to niggas, we, we say what we finna go. Man, I'm finna ball my nigga. Here, here, here. But you ask, oh, Aaron's, Aaron's, plural. What the fuck is Aaron's? Like, where are you going? And then like, you don't question it. You be like. Uh, but yeah, like, we, I do, just say, we don't question that yeah, shit. We, okay. I'm going to the barbershop, we go to Walmart, we go to Home Depot. Just come back with one Walmart bag. I don't know. I mean, that's more of a. I think that's more of a masculine thing. If if you don't question the shit, like I believe it's some beta male motherfuckers out there that's really would want to know where you're going and all this shit. Yeah, but I don't, nah, we too masculine for that. And that's shit. the thing. We don't ask. We yeah, ask we each other. God but there's niggas out there that's like, <laughs> what's Aaron's? What that, Aaron you got to run who, and all this shit? Who, who I know niggas like that, bro. But then, like you said, that did make us think about it. What the fuck are Aaron's? I be like, I be like, bet. That mean I get yeah. three hours to my goddamn self. You take a that's nap, what I yeah, I that's what I look at. You out my way. I don't give a fuck. Hey, my boy in the cut laughing so hard at that part. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga been laughing for, for about 32 minutes. <laughs> hey, my boy know with some airs. I ain't look straight up. He probably done heard that shit before. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to run some air. Bad. Check, double check them airs, bro. <laughs> oh, Crazy. Yeah, if you crazy. care. That nigga, right ad, down the that nigga last. Why don't y'all do a live show outside or some shit somewhere? We willing. We ready for you. Nigga, you y'all ready? can attack the goddamn bro. That's who we y'all got the the ability to attack UAB with this shit. Good idea. This is true. This is true. Good idea. Y'all got y'all got power to attack the fall. Do you know what the fall is at UAB? I know what the fall Pop is. is. The I fall mean, is I lived beautiful. It. You know, it. nigga, <laughs> we lived it. Yeah, <laughs> the fuck hey, every fall. Well, you remember what the fall? Oh, ain't no fall. Yeah. What you the talking fall? about? Ain't no, ain't no, no fall. No, no, no. See, if we if we okay, talk okay. too much about the fall, we got things. We got a history. Yeah, exactly. We're not, we not single. Look, what? Bro. What? <laughs> what is the fall? A time of year. But, hey, it, was, but, it was a glorious time. I say. But those <laughs> classes, <laughs> those, those classes that we know what classes are. I miss most of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm what's saying what's you got time? fresh motherfuckers coming in. Yeah, yeah. And you could just fucking. Said it. I mean, they need any kind of That's shit. True. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? With so merch with 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 merch. promo posters, flyers, journal like yeah. the fucking. And then this is part of a curriculum too. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm a communication studies fucking graduate, so yeah. this is definitely fucking needed. I feel bro. like we took a class or two together. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, you know, I used to bullshit though. I yeah, yeah. To <laughs> I don't know. Welcome how the to fuck the I was all, I was was all the college, yeah, dude. I ain't write one single paper. I shot a, I might not degrees. Even say that, no. I shot a documentary with this nigga in it, man. Remember? That shit? <laughs> I remember that. Hey, shit. tell us about Katrina. That nigga wasn't nowhere near Katrina. He was up here with us. I was at football practice and my mama called me. That nigga told me. Somebody else store, but it worked out. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's all we need. I tell y'all, bro. That was up, man. Give them all your social medias, man. Ken XL, man. K E N XL. Um, that's it, shit. You should find it. Once you start oh, typing that shit in, yeah. Google it. Yeah. Go I need fucking Google in my life forever. <laughs> but I'm I just don't like the shit that come up when you Google me. You know what I'm saying? Like, put the good shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like. Some good shit What's comes the up. Bad? Some good what, shit comes what's up. My personal fucking Facebook page. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah like if you yeah. Google me, it yeah, it yeah. brings up Kendrick Ken XL English. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then you go you go to seeing statuses and you're like, oh, I was gonna fuck with that nigga, but he feel this way about this issue. That's when that old tweet pop up. Yeah, man. <laughs> you got to go. yeah. Have big bad trouble. I'm confused though. I don't. I don't it's your page though, right? It's my page, but I got a <laughs> I got a business page. Uh, my just 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 can't excel. So why won't you just delete the personal? No, hell no. Nah. Then my family can't fucking fuck with me. They know can't. And then I can't like you know. I got you. 
Motherfuckers that ain't think I was gonna be shit can't realize that I'm something you now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you shit now. I gotta keep that up for them to realize that this nigga actually like, made how it. How important is that? Very fucking important. <laughs> Very. I ain't even gonna hold you up. I like all my. Well, yeah. fuck. But. Yeah, I can't. But yeah, what he just said. <laughs> nigga crazy. Hey, I can't nothing, say it. Ain't, ain't nothing like uh, going back, you know what I'm saying? Showing somebody who, who mm-hmm. talk shit about you that you. Like that you something now. That's hey, that's an yeah. important ass feature. That's why I asked how important that shit. Story time, bro. Story. Okay, so it's gonna be real quick, story I promise. Time. All right. Go ahead. Take I got time. a fucking quick story about that. Okay, so I shot this video for this girl out of Birmingham. The shit was kind of big, you know what I'm saying? It had good colors and lighting and shit and a good plot. And these two girls that went to UAB with us, um, my homeboy came back and told me that they was arguing because she couldn't believe that Kendrick from UAB did that video. <laughs> they was damn near arguing. Like, she pulled a video up to show her homegirl and was like, oh, yeah, that's dope. And she was like, girl, you know Kendrick did that video? She was like, uh-uh, Ken <laughs> XL did that video. She said, fool, that's Kendrick. She said, Kid from UAB, I don't know the fuck it ain't. Like, I just can't be the nigga that did this. <laughs> Damn, Kendrick. So, it's for people like that that right. I got to keep my personal page active. Hey, so, okay. keep it, hey one thing he didn't did was do. keep it real. He didn't told us his past demons. Uh, but the, the, the thing about it, and we talk about this again on this platform, going back to how we do this platform, man, it's something good about saying what you was Versus what you are, what, what you, you are. grew into. Right. You know what I'm saying? And if we don't talk big, about big, that, big. especially us as, as black men, man, like, like you can change. And that's one thing that we that we talk about about this culture, man. Like today's times, they act like you can't evolve or change. They bring up some old shit from 20 years ago. Like, man, I'm not that no more, man. I was right. 19 years old at that time. Now I'm a different kind of person. So <clears throat> I think it was dope that in this short period of time, you've already showed, you know, how I was thinking Gross, or how I was, and you you shed a light on you right. know, how you changed. You went from I, I didn't I didn't touch no girls or no stupid <laughs> shit like that. So I feel good about you know bringing up my past, and it was more or less dealing with me than other people. You feel me? Like shout niggas, out, some niggas can't bring that shit up. Shouts out, shouts out for going from a hater to a leader. Bro, I was a fucking hater. <laughs> and it ain't no nigga that can tell you that they was a fucking hater. Bigger than I was, bro. Shut up, buddy. Nigga, I used to literally tell people, like, they'll send me a video and I'll be like, I don't want to see it. Uh, and they be like, I'll be like, I don't even give a fuck. And they're like, wow, I used to really hurt people's fucking feelings. Bro. Oh, you was big hating. Big hating. hating I ain't realize look, what it look, was. He, big he, can, he can recognize that. I thought it like, was standing up for my that, brand. I just did that this morning. Uh-huh. I ain't never hated on that nigga because I don't think I'm better than every nigga. So I ain't never hated on that nigga. <laughs> that sound like you hating on every nigga. No. <laughs> but now, I ain't going to lie. You got to kind of protect your brand in the beginning stages. Like like if somebody was to come up to y'all right now and be like, oh, such and such never got a podcast going on right now. Y'all need to check it out. You're going to be like, ah, fuck that. We got our own yeah. shit going yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. But you're going to also get to a point to where you got to check that podcast out and be like, oh, I and checked it, it out. And that shit already happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People, people holler at you. They be, you know, well, how y'all get your sound like this or what y'all do? I don't give a shit. I right. tell them. We share, you know man. Like, I share. Share. And, I like say, if you said, man, you, you had to start sharing shit until you realize it. And I, and I would hope that we would do that early. Right. But, oh, yeah. That's what's but, up. in saying that, I know what you're talking about. I ain't going to go too much deeper. <laughs> I, I know but, what you're saying. But, but this is my thing. Nobody can out stop stop. Right. Like right. what he brings to it, nobody can outdo that. Nobody can outdo it. Right. Uh who he's from New Orleans. He was a fat quarterback. He, <laughs> he made it. <laughs> that nigga played center, man. Don't call him a quarterback. He he center, a center. He that quarterback. for two days, man. Stop. That was two days. Hey, man. hey. They keep it a hundred. Stop was a fat linebacker. He made it work. <laughs> I never seen a fat linebacker make make it work. And what you were? A great fan. I was on the fan. Like, yeah. <laughs> a great fan. Nigga, stop. nigga ain't got a, a muscle fan. in his body. <laughs> <laughs> no, I seen this nigga at the gym before, like in Planet Fitness. You seen and him in there. You didn't see him doing that. <laughs> what he was doing? I'm that nigga was really in that bitch, bro. That. He was in it, but what he was doing? I'm Y'all saying some he was doing some leg shit or something. I was trying to big everybody up. <laughs> but, is it a slum? <laughs> is it a slum? Can I finish? Go ahead. Yeah, go, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Get your sentiment on. Nobody can beat me. Yeah, you're right. Nobody is offensive Joe like offensive Joe. And we like offensive Joe. Ain't nobody can be Todd, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my boy ain't here to defend himself. You can't do my boy Damn. like that. Man, y- y'all know I love Todd. But I will commend you, man. Like, you didn't know who I was. You didn't know who all of us was. And you was like, you was a capper. You, you had this... 
Oh, wait, I'm still a Kappa now. That you say it would. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, 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 okay. Like, okay. you know, say you had. You know, with the white friends, they were a Pi Kappa Phi in college. Yeah, oh, this yeah. shit is with and us they forever. Quit, they quit that shit after they get yeah, the Yeah, like they, they, they no, was that. I didn't no, know you could quit. No, yeah, they, they do. They're done. It's no reunions. It's no. That shit do, do for college. There's no they, grad chapter. Do they get brands too? Hell no. It's college and done for them. But what I was saying was, you ain't have to be like, oh, these niggas from the crib, let them in. You ain't have to be like, hey, man, I'm going to let y'all in, but y'all make sure y'all don't fight. No one. <laughs> no one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, nah, that shit used to happen. Um, at the We was telling the story at the Kappa party. I remember like, you know what I'm saying? We came in that bitch, and them niggas was like this. Hey, it was me and about 15 more beer niggas. They like, hey, man, oh, y'all niggas ain't finna fight, is it? <laughs> No, man, we just coming to party, man. Fighting ass niggas. Man, we went in that bit. It was a, a casino. Y'all probably had a fight. Man, we was in that thing 10 minutes and then started fighting. I said, damn, <laughs> man, we done broke our promise. <laughs> I got maced in there. All I remember, nigga said, man, I knew they were going to do that shit. <laughs> I can't see or nothing. Yeah, I just walking out. Man. But y'all, that, that was good times, though, man. Great times. But great um, times. How, many, how many, do you know how many videos you've shot? 7,000. 446. That's dope. And how long? Uh, seven years. That's crazy. That's dope. Yeah. That's crazy. Promotional video? Well, no, nah, let's say six years because that first year I only do, I did like two videos, like 2012. Mm-hmm. Well, it, took you, it took you about six months to edit that thing. <laughs> yeah, it took me forever, bro. Like, <laughs> and them shit still. We, I, we know. Yeah. But now, <laughs> yeah, but now it's, it's 18 it's episodes. Science, nine. Nine. Yeah, yeah I mean, pack. yeah, it's, it's whatever now. It's like time to shoot. Yeah. But honestly, man, like, uh, we, we say all the time, man, we protecting our platform, and we don't bring anybody on here until we bring somebody on here. Right. And uh, we appreciate you for, you know, taking time out to, to sit down with us. Mm-hmm. What you do is dope. Uh, for people who don't know, look them up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, biggest videographer in Alabama. Mm-hmm. Uh, with those videos, man, he, he have that shit on lock. You know right. what I'm saying? And, I ain't gonna, and my man, dude, like, uh, I want to say it was yesterday. He came in here like, damn, that's the nigga Ken y'all was talking about? You like, shit, shit in the hood? That nigga God. <laughs> like, damn. Damn. My man said it. Yeah. He said it yesterday. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, said, I, was like, man, I was like, man, that nigga is shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm expecting. That's what I... That's... <laughs> but yeah, we, but, but honestly, no, we really do appreciate you taking time oh, out, sure. man. for sure, for sure. And uh, we definitely going to link up and, and keep this relationship, you know, going. Right. Anything you want to say? Hey, man, all I want to say is, man, shout out to the Dumbest Podcast. I like what y'all doing. Appreciate it. You know, y'all uplifting niggas that ain't uplifted. Y'all giving niggas content. You know, you making, you opening minds, bro. Like, I'm going to be thinking about that Aaron shit. <laughs> y'all think I'm playing, bro. I'm going to really Next be thinking about this shit. I'm like, damn. Man, this bitch talking about she going to run some Aaron. <laughs> that nigga named Aaron. Yeah. I, that nigga named Aaron. She going to be fucking Aaron. <laughs> Aaron is Aaron, for real. Straight yeah. up. Look at that contact. You see Aaron. That's him. Thank us. That's what keep <laughs> keep going though, bro. Like, oh, yeah. don't fucking oh, yeah. stop. Nah, we you ain't. Know. We locked in. We just man. getting started. It's, 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 like you said, it's riding a bike, and we gonna keep started. it going. And um, yeah, we'll be back next week. Like we never left, cause like we say every week, we never leave. You dig? Toodles. <laughs> Dummy. Dummy. Dummy.